Good day, Sablayan Central School. Good day, Science Grade 6 learners. For this week, we will be talking on the energy transformation. I am teacher Romulo Villaflores Tampolino, Jr. Before we move on to that, let's have a review or look back of the last week lesson. Let's see. The question is, what is energy? What are the forms of energy? Okay. Energy is the ability of an object to do work. Alam natin that we can do many activities because of energy. What are the different forms of energy? We have talk different forms of energy such as chemical, mechanical, sound, electrical, radiant, nuclear, geothermal energy. Then we will check if you can still remember the different forms of energy present in each situation by writing chemical, mechanical, sound, electrical, radiant, nuclear, geothermal energy on the blanks. Let's review. Sabi natin, a substance has a chemical energy if there is a stored energy. At ang mga palatandaan pa natin para matukoy na yun ay chemical energy, kung nasusunog ang isang substance, it has chemical energy. Diba? Yung mga galing sa different parts of the plants, it has chemical energy. Mechanical energy, those are energy in motion. Lahat ng gumagalaw may mechanical energy. Sound energy is produced by a vibrating objects. Diba? If there is a vibrating object, may gumagalaw na objects, there is a sound energy. Electrical energy is the energy produced by a moving electrons. Madali lang yan. Lahat yan ng ating electrical appliances ay gumagamit ng electrical energy. Radiant energy, if there is heat and light, there is radiant energy. Kapag may init at may liwanag, may radiant energy. Nuclear energy, if we use the atom in producing uh, electrical energy, that's we have the nuclear energy. Geothermal energy, if we use the heat of the earth in order to generate electricity, that is geothermal energy. Nabanggit natin yan sa ating previous uh, video. Now, let's check. Okay, I have here 1 to 10. So, number 1 is paracetamol. Number 2, fireworks. Number 3, liar. Number 4, matchsticks. Number 5, fire. 6, electric fan. 7, rolling drum. 8, sunlight. 9, lighted bulb. 10, apple. Now, let's check. Number one, paracetamol, gamot. What forms of energy? Of course, the answer is chemical energy. Number two, fireworks. What form of energy is, in, is present in the fireworks? Of course, chemical energy. Kasi nasusunog yon. Malibang pa doon talaga may chemical content. Number three, lyre. What, anong gagawin mo sa lyre para uh, tumunog? You will hit the lyre, then it will produce sound energy, number three. Number four, matchsticks, posporo, ay chemical energy. Fire, may init na, may liwanag pa, it is radiant energy. Electric fan, ang ginagamit ng electric fan ay electrical energy. Rolling drum, ang rolling drum ay nagmumove, gumagalaw, so it is mechanical energy. Sunlight, naku, ang sinag ng araw. Radiant energy. Lighted bulb. Yung bumbilya na may sindi. Radiant energy. And of course, apple. Lahat ng foods ay may chemical energy. So, how many of you got 10? Okay, very good. Now, let's move. Ayan, ang different forms of energy. So, you are going to group the following substances or materials according to the forms of energy they possess. You are going to fill the table to answer. Saan natin nilalagay ang rice? Of course, rice is ida chemical energy. Ang power bank saan nilalagay? Ano naman ang power bank? Chemical energy. Ang blender, anong ginagamit? Electrical energy. Ang burger, pagkain, chemical energy. Ang whistle, it will produce sound energy. Oven, will use electrical energy. Water dispenser, electrical energy. Paper, chemical energy. Pork adobo, chemical energy. Running bus, 
mechanical energy, violin, sound energy, drums, sound energy, fireworks, chemical energy, lighted candle, uh, radiant energy, black of wood, chemical energy, guitar, sound energy, dancing barbie, mechanical energy, paracetamol, mechanical, uh, chemical energy, firewood, chemical energy, wash, working washing machine, mechanical energy, sailing boat, mechanical energy, flowing river is mechanical energy. Okay, so that's how we classify or we group the forms of energy or the substances according to their forms of energy. If you got it correctly, clap, 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 uh, you are working very well. Oh, those are all about the different forms of energy. Hope, I'm hoping na natandaan na natin uh, kung paano malalaman ang different forms of energy present in a substance. Now, we will be talking of this week's lesson is energy transformation. What do we mean by a transformation? Actually, kung may face-to-face, -face, ang sarap sana ng patawa ko dito. Sorry na lang. Okay. The question is, do you know Bumblebee? Optimus Prime or Megatron? How will you describe Bumblebee? How will you describe Megatron? Or how will you describe Optimus Prime? Yes, they are called Transformers. Why are they called Transformers? Si Megatron, si Optimus Prime, at si Bumblebee ay tinatawag na Transformers. Hindi lang tayo pwede mag-flash ng picture kasi baka tayo makapuride. Bakit sila tinatawag na Transformers? Because, ito yon. Because those robots can transform from one form to another. Si Bumblebee can transform from a robot to a car and vice versa. Or pwede rin siyang car na maging robot. Pwede yung robot ulit na naging car. Kaya tinawag siyang Transformer. Si Megatron naman from a robot to a plane. Or from plane to a robot. ba? Diba? So, they can transform from one form to another. Yung form na robot to a form of a plane. So, kaya ang tawag sa kayo, transformer. So, they can transform from one form to another. And energy can be transformed also. Ayan. At ang energy, pwede rin magpalit ng anyo from one form to another form. Kaya binanggit muna natin yung different forms of energy ngayon para malaman natin yung kung papaano that the energy can be transformed just like the transformer. I'll give you one. I have here a video or illustration of the electric fan. So, the electric fan is not working. Alam natin ang electric fan ay gagamit ng electrical energy. Di ba? Of course, di kuryente electric fan. Electrical energy. So, yung electrical energy ng electric fan, kapag binuhay natin ng electric fan, kapag binuhay natin ng electric fan, Anong mangyayari? So, let's see the video. I wish it's on the fan. Then, the blades of the fan are working or turning. So, habang umiikot yung blades ng electric fan, yung electrical energy naging mechanical energy kasi gumagalaw. Di ba? So, the transformation of energy involved in the electric fan is from electrical energy to mechanical energy. So, nakita natin nagpalit ng anyo yung energy. Yung electrical energy, yung ginamit siya ng electric fan, naging mechanical energy. Another example, valve. Alam natin yung ilaw na yan, gagamit siya ng electrical energy. Then, when I switch on, when I switch on the valve, just like in the video, when I switch on the valve, yan, the electrical energy transform to radiant energy because it will produce heat and light. There is light and heat. So, the electrical energy in the lighted bulb transformed to radiant energy. So, the transformation of energy involved in the lighted bulb is from electrical energy to radiant energy. Another example, I have here a candle. So, the wax of a candle is chemical energy. The wax of a candle is chemical energy. Then, I will... Uh, light the candle. Let, let us see in the video what will happen. Okay. Now, there is light and there is heat. So, the chemical energy 
in the lighted candle becomes the radiant energy or transformed to radiant energy. The transformation of energy involved in the lighted candle is from chemical energy to radiant energy. So that's the transformation of energy. So napatunayan natin ngayon that the energy can be transformed from one form to another. Okay. So the, let us try to answer this activity. So we have here the picture of a drummer. So number one, anong sagot dyan? Anong gagawin ng bata? She, he will beat the drum. So that's mechanical energy. Then it will produce sound. So the answer is from mechanical energy to sound energy. Yung kanya sa electric fan, number two, from electrical energy to mechanical energy. And then number three is from chemical energy of the wood to radiant energy. Number four, television from electrical energy to radiant energy. And number five, if you are going to use a flat iron, you will use electrical energy and transform into heat energy. So those are all about the transformation of energy. So, madali na siya. Transformation of energy is the transformation formation of energy from one form to another form. So I have here another exercises. I will let you answer by your own. That's all for today or this week. Thank you very much for listening. Thank you.